What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Rockets Hits and Heartbreaks. Well, last weekend we talked a lot about the importance of doubles and pick threes and how they really kind of help turn around some of our you know, lesser days, so to speak. So uh, where we didn't hit those pick fives. Well, let's talk about a couple of pick fives we hit this weekend. It was very up and down, uh, but the, really our most consistent track was Santa Anita for sure. So I'll put uh, a ticket up that we hit. Uh, there it is right there. The Santa Anita pick five races uh, on Sunday, I should say, races six through 10. And uh, got the ticket up on the screen there for you, $96 ticket. And um, this was a very easy one to put together as far as the structure because Adari Manor was in the second to last leg. Quick single, easy single. Didn't really have to think about it much. Um, just a total, total standout in that ninth race uh, and, you know, went off at one to nine and uh, was an easy winner. And so anytime you get a sequence and you get that, you know, quote unquote free square, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to build it out because, you know, you've got a lot of combinations that you can play in those last four or those other four legs. So we'll start about it. We'll start it now. Um, and, and this was really the one that got us going so uh it, it it made you a little happy because the one thing when you know you've got a one to nine in the sequence you got to get some prices and look it, it's okay to play one to nines uh you know on on these i mean i, I know a lot of people might tell you don't you know you got to try to beat those horses well you don't have to if you really think the horse is an absolute lock and not going to lose you don't really have to play against them because it, as you're going to find out, you can still make very good money singling the horse. Now, look, if you see a, a horse and you know, the horse is going to be one to nine and you handicap the race and you go, I don't know, that horse may lose. Then by all means, you've got to go against. But if you look at one and go, yeah, no chance, then just single and move on. So that's what happened here. So first leg four, five, six, and seven, and it came in four, seven, five. Um, so, you know, pretty good start to it here. And I used the four and the five longer prices here. And thankfully, the four comes home. He was the second longest price. Uh, a lot of people were asking me why I used the four in this spot. And it, it's it's twofold for me. Number one, the four was second off the layoff after running pretty well last time out. Some of the back form looked pretty good to me, especially at the mile. And I, I just felt like this was a weaker field. Um than maybe what the horse had been facing last year. So I thought second off the layoff would improve a little bit. I also thought there would be a little bit of speed in the race that would set up well. So it worked out. Um, but really, the, the the best answer is I was able to get to the four because I didn't have to go short in this leg because of the single. So really, well, how did I use the four or, or why was the four on the ticket? Because Adari Manor was in the sequence. I mean, that's, that's just it. If, if this was a tougher sequence, you might only have to go too deep or, 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 you know, something like that in this spot to try to get maybe the six or seven, you know, home. And instead with a Dari Manor, well, now we can get a little bit uh, deeper on this ticket. And again, we always try to play these tickets under a hundred dollars. So, you know, that's when I, when I talk about, you know, we can do this because of this, we're, we're trying to play within a budget. We're not trying to put together $300 tickets here. Now you can do that on your own, but we're not going to do that. So again, uh, Adari Manor being in the sequence really helped me go deep here and uh, get on to the, to uh, the next leg. And that was a really good way to get this thing started. All right, let's keep it going though. Um, you know, we get to the next leg here, another one where we could go uh, uh, four deep one, three, five, and eight. And this was good too. The five gets the job done here. So we're two for two and it wasn't short prices. This one was a nine to two winner. You know, this was a cowbred maiden first time starter. Um, you know, this was just pray that you get through it. You do, you just don't know what these horses are ever going to do in spots like this. So just pray you get through it. And we did third leg here, two, three, four, and nine, uh, is where we went for this one. And, and this was another one. Um, it, it was a situation where we just, you just want to get through it. Anyway, these were not great horses. There were some unknowns in this race as well. Um, it was on the turf. They all kind of looked alike. So you just try to get through, through two, three, four, and nine, the four, three comes in here. This was one after we got a couple prices. I wasn't too upset about just getting a $7 winner. It's just like, let's just survive it. Uh, and let's get to the single 
and, and then we'll see what happens. So speaking of the single, we'll go to that one now. Um, and this was a no stress, Adari Manor, easy, you know, just an easy race, gets the job done. No problem there. And so uh, that's always nice when the single comes through and you never really have to sweat it. You kind of knew the whole way around there. She was going to get the job done. So the shortest, second shortest leg, I should say, was a 246 here. It comes in 2410. So had it covered, uh, you know, pretty, pretty non stressful way to end this thing. Um, but yeah, it, it was another situation where we, we kind of got lucky. The, the longest of the prices came in that we used out of the two and the four and the six. And, you know, the two was just one that I kind of projected would get the lead um, and be really tough to run down. I uh, drew inside of the other speed and I thought the ride on the four was strange to say the least. That's I'll just I'll keep it like that. <laughs> um, but I thought the two and the four would control the race and they did. And uh, I mean, the two got the positioning, so I'll just leave it at that again. So uh, I used two, four, six. I thought, okay, two, four can control it. Six will sit in that perfect spot and try to come get them. Uh, six, you know, does, does no running. And then the two and the four, uh, are able to control the race there, but we get the bigger payout and that's, that was, uh, the good thing. So that was kind of the story of this one was each time, uh, I was able to get the bigger payout on these and boy, that, that makes it a lot, lot better. So you look down here, this is with a one to nine in the sequence, this thing for a $96 ticket, like I said, we've got it up on the screen, pays $1,740.40. Again, I want to repeat, this is with a one to nine in the sequence. So it just goes to show you, and again, we didn't have a 30 to one shot win. We strung together a couple, well, three, well, really two, two mid, mid range prices one okay price in one lukewarm favorite with a one to nine. And that's what it gets. And that's for all the, the talk about pick threes and doubles. We talked about it, how important it is to try to cover yourself and, and not even to try, but to cover yourself last week. And really, if you didn't watch last week, you need to go back and watch it because yes, this is what you're looking for. A $96 ticket that gives you 1700 you didn't have to do anything fancy to do it. That's obviously that's what the the multi races are all about. But you know, losing these things by noses as much as I have, or or just you know maybe blowing a race completely and not even having it close, you got to have those backups and you got to have those pick threes and doubles. But this is what it's all about. This is why you play the pick fives to get a cash like that. So that was a really, really good way uh, to round out a Sunday. All right, let's go to Churchill Downs on Monday. So uh, let me put Churchill up on the screen here. I'll, I'll do a little talking while I do that. But um, Churchill Downs probably, uh, well, no probably about it. The One of the worst tracks this week was Churchill for me. Um, just had no feel for it. Uh, Saturday was just, just brutal. Uh, I, I think maybe one or two daily doubles, all that was hit on Saturday. Wasn't really any better on Sunday. Maybe had a uh, pick three or two, but it's a, it's a losing product on, uh, on those two days at Churchill. And just honestly, like, you know, I, it's just, sometimes you, you lose and it's like, I, there's, I'm just never going to get to that horse. Right. So, uh, came into Monday and uh, things got a lot better. Hit the pick five, hit some pick threes, doubles as well, but hit the pick, the early pick five. We'll go through it. This was pretty easy. So taxed was singled uh, uh, for me on this one. Tax running in the fourth race. Not as an easy, you know, not as easy of a single as a Dari Manor. Uh, singling taxed was more like, well, I need to go short. I really need coverage. She makes a lot of sense dropping down in class. I'm going to take her. And it was um, yeah, it was a little scary for a while, but she got it done. Anyway, uh, three, four, five, and six to start. The five gets it done. And you're going to see the payouts really aren't quite as big on this one. But a 592 payout there to get it going. Um, then 824 for Silver Heist. We went three, four, six, came in six, three, four. So all over that one. Um, and, you know, you probably... Uh, with that leg, it was just more get through. Uh, we didn't really have a price to root for there, but I think it was good uh, to get the four beat. You know, that was good to kind of get a shorter price beat there. Uh, third leg, another, another, you know, short horse here, 492 for this one. We went uh, four D, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Four deep going two, three, six and eight. 
Six gets it done. Good thing, because our other ones weren't anywhere to be found there. Like I said, Tax gets it done for a 322 uh, winner there. And some anxious moments, but that horse was the class, you could tell. And then finally get a little bit of a price. One, three, 12, and 13, this off-the-turf race here. The 12 gets it done. I thought ran a really good race, and thankfully this 12 does win. Pays 22.84, so that's about 10 to 1 there. So uh, $96 ticket again had tax single, and I am really shocked at this one. 735.32, this thing pays for the pick five here, and I, I just kind of want to review it again. And, and again, this is the importance that the and, and why we we chase these pick fives as much as we do because this. This was not hard to get to. Um, you go back here, go to the first. So 592, that's basically a nine to five shot. Uh, 824 is a three to one shot. So we're nine to five, three to one. Uh, this is a, a, a seven to five. Nine to five, three to one, seven to five. Uh, 322 is three to five and then 10 to one. I mean, that's that is a crazy sequence of five very logical horses paying 735 32 you could get to that paying a lot less playing a lot less uh, of a ticket than i did as well um you know hindsight obviously 2020 i'm not uh you know it's a cash i'm not worried about it but still i mean that's those are those are really gettable horses and even this this last leg i mean it, that look five star general kind of had some muddled form and it was that was not a extremely tough horse to get to um you know and especially in some of these other races you felt like you could go short if you could go three or four deep in this leg you're probably going to get to five star general most of the time um so again yeah 10 to 1 helps but these other races very very logical and pretty easy to get to so again uh, pick five there 96 seller ticket pays 735 32 all right That'll do it for this week. Kind of wanted to show that uh, the pick fives were kind of back and kind of rolling this week, finally, after uh, those frustrations that we talked about last week, uh, where we kind of talked about the doubles and the importance of wheeling back with those. This week, yeah, the doubles and pick threes were nice, but they just helped with profit for a lot of the time instead of trying to cover some of those losses on those pick fives. So hopefully Churchill turns around uh, and, and continues like that. I know there were some frustrations on Saturday and Sunday uh, with Churchill. And all I can tell you is when you're playing these multis, you just never know. I mean, you could go through frustrations. There's no doubt about it. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for this week's Rockets, Hits, and Heartbreaks. We'll be back next week, and next week will be Belmont week as well. So we'll be talking about that. All right, guys, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.